Hey guys, welcome back to Green Tea Garden. In this video, guys, I'm gonna explain and let you guys know some uh, pro and cons about. Right here, I have is the. This is right here. I have is the tomato cage. It's the round tomato cage, and right here, guys, I have just regular steak. And um, these guys, you could you could see right here, they're they're coated with this rubber uh, protected thing outside. I had this about two three years now, and you guys could see with uh, snow, rain, everything, it's still really, really good. Uh, if you guys like to get your hand on these guys, check in the link in the description, guys. I'll leave the link so you guys can get your hand on these guys. This right here, guys, I'm going to give you guys the uh, ultimate review for this one right now, but we're going to talk about the, the round cage. I'm going to show you my plant right behind me soon that I actually did. It's easy to put together, guys, and it's really good for tomatoes, especially... Um, uh, well, there's some mixed reviews because I did look up some reviews and some YouTube videos about it And there's some really mixed uh, thing about it, which is uh, some is good and some is bad The good the good thing is about it if you're now starting off the garden and you don't want to use steak And you want something to look really nice. It makes your garden looks nice If you have like your regular tomato plant coming in the container guys You put this it'll come right up as your tomato plant is going these guys adjust these guys are adjustable so you could put a different height so your tomato plant is uh, resting on it and as it's growing. If your tomato plant is tilted to the right and you, you didn't guide some of it to grow to the left and balance it out, now this thing could probably tilt, it wouldn't work the best so you really have to guide your tomato plant for this to work. Uh, these steak are heavy duty guys, they are really really heavy duty and the good thing about it it comes with the spike on the bottom so you could hit it with a hammer all the way down and it goes right down to the ground and you could you could buy that uh that piece that joins here and basically what you could do you could join a bunch of them together or you could buy the elbow one and you could join the cross so you could you could build anything you want with these guys these guys i'm telling you i give them five star uh they're a little bit uh a little bit more expensive but as i told you five star uh, Green Tea Garden approved these guys love them. I do have a bunch of them and I do uh, You know you could you could double them sometimes and um, these guys right here as you guys see this is my um, My garden twine which I'll tie the plant So if you stake it down and you bring your plant close by and you could just tie it up and it holds really well All right guys, so uh, this is in a greenhouse right now. Um, I know there's a lot of stuff going on here But um, I wanted to show you it's a bigger pot and as you guys could see, I just did this one really fast. So this ring, you have one, two, three, four ring. Um, I forget the height. All, all the detail about this, check in the description box, guys. The height and all that stuff and the price and everything else, I'm going to leave there. But basically, you guys could see. So now, the good thing about this, you could adjust this. You could move it uh, higher or you could move it lower. It all depends. And um, you could connect and you could see if you buy you guys buy more of this and you have this you could connect and you could go higher guys So as you could go really higher and it's good. You see like your tomato plants is now growing see I'm already guiding a leaf To hang over there. I already have this over here. So the plants gonna be growing They're coming over and they'll be resting. So now say your plants is you know this high and you have tomatoes what you could do you know try to lean your tomatoes here so your tomatoes resting but if you're gonna do this guys if you're gonna use the cage do not have too much plant because if you leave too much plant I'm telling you like this right here it will it will bend but it wouldn't break but it will still take a lot of pressure I don't know if it's gonna break or fall I'm hopefully keeping the finger cross um, if it does get too weak, if you guys have one and it get too weak, I would say, you know, keep away a little bit from your plant root, but try to do a stake in the middle right through of it. If you put a stake right through in the middle of this right here and maybe tie it at all corner, I'm telling you, heavy duty, you wouldn't have a problem with it. The thing you guys could do, you see which I'm going to do, I have cucumber plants, uh, I have two of them right here. Normally I would leave one in a five gallon bucket. But I'm pushing it for two to see how it's going to go. So basically it's going to go. It's going to run over. But as I just mentioned to you guys. I might end up putting uh, right here a stake in the middle. Because cucumbers are really heavy. And um, I don't think this cage might hold it up. But we're going to find out. But I might put a stake in the middle guys. Sorry. So I might put a stake in the middle to um, figure that out. You guys could use it in, in so much other uh plants that's runner 
are running upward or whatever you guys could use. So guys, the last four days in Long Island here has been really, really windy. I can't even put any transplant, any plant outside. I can't even put my plant to get some, you know, two to three hours sunlight and get used to the weather because the wind is so bad, it will literally just break up your plant. All right guys, so between the round tomato cage versus the, the steak, both of them are good depends on how you're using them and you know what are you using them for if you're new guys you could try the tomato cage uh, start off with one tomato plant inside or two tomato plant if you're doing beef steak I would say one because beef steak tomato they get they, those are heavy tomatoes and they grow big so you got to be careful you got to make sure you're balancing and guiding your plants as it's growing and make sure you're always pruning your tom tomato plants guys you want to make sure you're pruning cut out the suckers because if you do not prune your tomato you're gonna grow a lot more leaf check out all the video guys at the end of the video I'm gonna show you guys how to prune your tomato plant and get the best guys so the steak five star I love it it's the best I recommend it highly as I said to you guys I love it I have no complaint about it period it's if you're a gardener and you have multiple plants and you have runners I'm telling you it's a highly recommend to get it guys check in the link in the description guys i always put a bunch of links and stuff that i use and uh, i recommend them and if i use it guys and it works for me it'll work for you and another thing guys for everyone who's subscribing and supporting green tea garden i want to tell you guys thank you so much you guys are awesome i love it and um we're on we're in 800 subscribers right now i can't wait we're going to be touching 900 subscribers and then 1000 subscribers i love it guys i can't wait Super excited, and um, the weather is definitely kickstarting real nice in uh, Long Island, New York. We just have a lot of wind, super windy for the past couple days. So, hopefully, this wind die out soon and we could get going. And, guys, stay tuned. I got Green Tea Garden vlogs coming up. I'm gonna walk around the garden, I'll show you guys, and I'll keep you guys updated. And I'll, you know, give you guys some awesome tips. You could grow a better garden, guys, and you can learn a lot with hanging out with Green Tea Garden. So, don't forget, guys, you got family and friends, neighbors, cousin, aunt, everybody. Let them subscribe, guys. It's 100% free and join Green Tea Garden. Let's grow a better garden together, guys. I'll see you guys next time.